Hello, I'm Elizabeth Harper and I'm here with this month's Crystal Scope. So in a moment, I'm going to dip my hand into this bag of crystals to find a crystal for all of us for the month ahead. Then what I want you to do is select either crystal one, two or three. I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to invite you to intuit which crystal is coming out of the bag and maybe what the color is of the crystal. See if you can get one or both of those things. I'm going to explain what the crystal is, I'm going to share what the energy is and what my insights and intuitions are as to what's coming up for this month. All right, you ready? Okay, so I'm going to dip my hand in the bag, <laughs> see what crystal comes out. All right, I need a bigger bag. <laughs> okay, so this is selenite. So selenite usually has a kind of stripy appearance. This one I think has been a little bit battered. So it has a, it's almost like a mystical energy to it. Now, because of that white, white can be about cleansing, about creating something new. It's like a new beginning, you know, like a whiteboard. And there's a sense almost as if you are looking at an agenda, it's like, do A, B, C, D, this kind of thing. So you're organizing things. So this month, it's a month of organization with this white. It's a month of clearing things out of the way and bringing new things in, a new beginning in. This particular piece has lots of little dots on it, which you don't usually find with, with selenite. It's almost like a piece of candy. It looks like a piece of candy. And I feel that that is, there's a sense of people coming in to support you. Now, selenite is an angel stone, links in with your angels, your guides. So those people, those beings that are coming in to support and help you could well be your team, your spirit team coming down, coming in and um, supporting you, linking with you to guide you on your journey and to help you to release the old and really step into the new as well. This is a psychic energy too, you know, because of that white vibration, it's like all of your chakras connecting together the rainbow, you stepping into that rainbow energy. And there's a sense with this of cleansing and healing all at the same time, but also expanding your energy and connecting in psychically with maybe loved ones in spirit, or maybe helping others with readings or with support. It's like your inspiration, your intuition is very very high this month and your psychic abilities are really on. So it could well be that you are seeking for seeking a way to use those psychic energies, to use your psychic abilities. And I feel that that white vibration, that whiteboard vibration is you kind of listing all the things that you can do all the things that you're fabulous at, all your gifts, and then seeing how you can put those together in one form. And I feel that one of those gifts is going to be about your psychic energy. I feel like there's one more thing that comes in with this, and I'm hearing the word law. So, you know, with that law, sometimes it's about balance. So I feel with the white energy as well, that something, it's almost like a sense of something is going to be repaid to you. Something is coming back to you. It's like a law of karma. That's what it is. Something is coming back. It's like something's been owed to you or you've been giving, 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 and now the universe is giving back to you. Oh, I love that. All right. So what I want you to do now is intuit crystal one, two or three, which one has a message for you. You can have more than one. You could also just move your cursor along to where you intuitively feel you need to be and your message will be there too. Okay, number one, let's see what 
you have <laughs> see if you can intuit the color or colors and shape see if you can intuit the shape your crystal is tiger's eye this of course is a heart shape so the tiger's eye has this beautiful golden vibration and it also has brown as well so with the brown it's a very earthy energy so it's about being grounded it's about being focused on physical things this month you know your job your home your your abundance your wealth your physical body your health etc then that golden energy is linked in though the sun so it's heaven so this is very much about heaven and earth bringing heaven to earth so the sun vibration is that light it's expansion it's your spirituality it's your emotional self it's your it's your mental vibration it's everything that is not necessarily the physical so it's up there <laughs> So there is a sense here of balance for you with this bringing heaven to earth. So it's connecting the two together. So there's almost a feeling of you're creating space in your life this month in order to honor your values. And those values may be about your emotional life or your mental life or your spiritual life. So whatever it is that's not physical, your values are going to balance out with your physical life. So let's say you've been really, really busy all the time, buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. You're doing stuff, constantly busy. So this month, what's going to happen is you're going to look a little bit more into what you can bring in to balance that. So maybe that balance is going to be about having fun because that's going to nurture your emotional side. Maybe it's about doing crosswords or reading books or education that might be balancing the mental side. Maybe it's about meditating more or tapping more into your intuition. Or maybe it's about going to a sacred space where you can connect with the divine. That's going to balance that spiritual side. So feel that this is very much about you bringing balance into your life this month. And I feel as well with that brown that it's about grounding. So it's about staying in the present moment and really honoring yourself and your light and you as a spirit. Okay, number two. Let's see what you have. There's an enormous stone right there. I'm moving past it. Like <laughs> a small stone. Okay, this is black tourmaline. So that beautiful black tourmaline, you see it's got it's got a lovely shiny side. And on this particular piece of black tourmaline, it's got a rough side as well. And you know, it makes me think of coal. So usually with black tourmaline, it's about protection because that black energy, you know, when you wear black, the um, anything coming at you is reflected off of it. You can't get through that black vibration. It's just reflected off. And it's almost like it moves past you. So that's the same with this. It's got this reflective side, you see. So you are protected this month. So if we think of it, if you think of Archangel Michael, particularly because that popped into my head, that is a, a protective energy, a protective vibration. So call in Archangel Michael this month to support you to cleanse again it's that cleansing energy to cleanse you of anything that you've picked up that doesn't belong to you to help you let go of anything that is getting in the way of your success it's blocking your success and also to help you release i feel like it's about releasing past patterns that have that haven't worked for you and now it's time for you to see them to be aware of them and to make an intention to change to let them go to move through them move on and create something new then there's this rough side and i'm feeling almost as if this is about luck about some good good luck that's coming your way because often with coal it's about good luck so i feel that there's something it's it's almost as if you're going to meet somebody that's going to support you just when you needed it or if you were looking for a home it's like 
there's a home that's just suddenly going to appear it's exactly what you wanted that kind of thing there's a sense of good luck coming up for you this month I also feel with this that it's about protecting yourself from the environment, things like electromagnetic things, you know, the computer, <laughs> the phones, the, the certain lights that may be affecting you health-wise. So I feel that you're going to be looking at ways to get rid of things that you don't need that are affecting your health. One final thing with this, I, I'm getting this sense of water around you. It's not going to be the same for everybody, but I'm getting this sense of water around you and there's a feeling of relaxation. So I feel as if emotionally, because water is, a, is linked in with your emotions, I feel like emotionally you're going to be much calmer this month. There's almost a sense of relief. That's it. There's a sense of calmness and relief that's coming up for you. I love that. Okay, number three. Let's see what you have. All right, see if you can intuit the stone, the color. Ooh, this is a piece of blue lace agate. See that? See the lacy part in it? It's kind of lines, sort of lines, ridges. It's a little bit more lacy on the other side. So it's blue. So blue is a color of communication, it's a color of peace, calmness. It's also a color about life purpose as well. So with this blue vibration, it can be, especially with the lines, it can be you looking at your purpose, the different things that you can do, just how we started out with the gifts, everything that you can do and, and kind of lining those up. There is a sense of healing that comes in. It's a very gentle stone. So this is saying that this month it's, it's very much about you being gentle on yourself, nurturing yourself, looking after yourself. The lines, of course, those layers are about you nurturing physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually as well. I'm getting the sense of travel and being in a place that is nurturing, an environment that is nurturing. And it feels like a sacred space. So it could be that you're looking at going to a particular place where you're going to receive a lot of support, where you're going to receive healing, where you're going to be with others that are of like mind. It's just a sense of that with this particular stone. I feel that communication is going to be um, easy for you this month. So if you've been having issues around communication, if there have been you know, people around you that have been challenging, then there's a sense with this stone that it's saying that any challenges are going to be... The word that's coming to me is nullified. I'm not entirely sure that's the right word, but that's the word that's coming into me. There's a sense of peace again that's coming through on every level for you. And I feel as well that if you've been having issues with hope, if you feel like, you know, things are just not going your way, there's a sense with this stone that it's saying you're going to realize that you need to stop worrying. And once you stop worrying and just being in the present moment, that you'll it's like you'll accept that the universe is going to give you exactly what you need and you have everything that you need right now. The universe in its own time will share with you enormous blessings. But I feel that with this blue, it's just saying be at peace, be in this present moment. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, that's it for this month's crystal scope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you. And please share this with your friends. I'm sure they would love to have a message from their very own crystal. Okay, so I will see you soon. Lots of love and blessings to you. Bye.